Hi guys, uh, my name is Sandor Tot. I'm a driver, a truck driver uh, who is participating in a Freedom Convoy 2022 uh, as a protester and also uh, truck drivers for uh, our freedom, our rights and our country. I would like to summarize my thoughts in a few sentences which uh, Small, most of the people, you know, I think they uh, give up uh, their rights, they give up uh, the country, you know, they give up the freedom for this uh, liberal government, which is, uh, which is going, going to the bad, deep situation and everybody has to understand and also I, th I, 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 I think so, we have to wake up, not people who is, uh, who is in Ottawa, so not people who is in the protest, um, who is fighting like uh, peacefully protesters as me, you know, all of, of uh, the people living in Canada. So I try to, I try to explain in a few sentences, which is, so what is mean the freedom in Canada? What is mean uh, your rights? Let to, let to explain, like freedom is not an, ex, uh, not an abstract concept. So freedom, liberty is individual. It's a uh, pressure, you know? So government cannot say for anybody, okay, or listen, you have to choose between A and B. The, we have to, so we have to fight for this because we want to be the one making the choices. So the government have to create an environment where I can exercise my right to choose. It's not giving me options, so not the government giving me option, it's me want to choose my own option. You know, so that the Charter of Rights is speaking the human dignity. So the human dignity is not speaking, not talking about the state, is not talking about the commission or parliament or council. You know, the first article in the Charter of Rights is a human dignity. So <clears throat> is in the Charter it emphasizes the role of human dignity, which is mean, uh, the Charter of Rights must be respected and protected because the Charter of Rights is unviolable, you know. So, the second thing and the third thing, it is, uh, I mean, everyone has a right, you know, to be respect in his or her psychical and mental integrity in the fields of medicine, of biology, uh, the following must be respected in particular, you know, the, the, the free and informed consent of the person. So this is the basic fundamental values. So we have to understand, you know, what uh, is going on right now in Canada. So this is based, you know, this is based, uh, it was based to creating, a, as a treaty says, an area for citizens, an area for justice, an area for freedom, you know, uh, an area of your security. So my question, how can I have justice? How can I have security anymore if you're violating the basic fundamental values? So the basic fundamental rights of Canadian citizens. So what we see now, it's clearly Justin Trudeau, <clears throat> what he's doing right now, it's wrong for Canadian citizens, it's wrong for Canada, and it's wrong for for the people living in Canada. Uh, also, I, would, I uh, would like to explain something from the communist regime, uh, how we, we, we did, so how we lived in a communist regime. Uh, myself, I was in, in a communist regime 14 years, so I was born in Romania. Uh, in 1976 and lived 14 years until 1989 when the, the revolution started 
in 17th or in, I remember 17th or 16th December and during until uh, 23rd December so it was six days seven days um, a revolution uh, this revolution was more uh, Mm, harder actually it was uh, it the military cops use brutality uh, not as here you know as we see now it's we are in a peacefully protest and we would like to continue as a peacefully protester uh, just I try to explain you know to understand the people who who doesn't leave so sorry didn't did not leave they uh, they don't know what 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 is mean to live in a communist regime like a military regime i think in 1987 romania was uh 1986 97 something like that romania was the poorest uh country in the world and uh, it was uh, it was terrible 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 a lot of uh, example i can give it to you guys to understand what is mean, what is that? Horrible, horrible. It's disgusting. So I remember, uh, you know, it was a secret police force was gradually uh, set up. So it began to control all uh, aspect of daily life. It was governed by the strict rules and regulations. It was omnipresent. It infiltrated, infiltrated, so infiltrated all parts of society. The fear was their weapon, you know. So people were ruthless and arrested hundreds of thousands of citizens. Entire families were persecuted regardless of their social class. So even important you know family members so even important family, just uh, that's why i wanna 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 form an attention you know for the government who so is thinking what is what we see now here you know that is good for for them because in that time as i told you the important family mem members were arrested uh, there were also, uh, you know, collective arrests. They instilled fear in everybody. It called, uh, remember, it called the Securitate. You know, the Securitate, it's for <laughs> horrible, horrible. Violated the idea of personal life, what people did inside, you know, in their own home, like old homes, was brought to the to the attention of the regime by its network of spies. So that's, it's unbelievable. I, 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 don't talk, I don't think so if someone want to wanna, wanna live like uh, years in, and, and, and years in this uh, regime. You know, so during these years, people had a mindset, you know, which uh, has persisted over the decades. People were less afraid sometimes of being, in, of being arrested in the middle of the night. So, and more afraid of the simple telephone call, you know, being recorded. They worried about the, micro, the, the microphones everywhere. Uh, I remember in my, uh, in my town, I lived in a block of flats, and that block was 20 apartments. And in 20 apartments, so 20 families, three families was traitors. So you didn't know who is the traitor on your block, who is the traitor. Maybe your friend was a traitor. Your best friend, friend could be a traitor. You know, so you didn't know that, that it's horrible. You know, it's horrible. My father told me all the time what we speak what we speak inside the house so you can't speak outside you can't speak everything which, which we speak here that is remaining in a house in our in our home you know so yeah people they uh, put a pillow over the phone to muffle 
their voice when they got a phone call, you know, or they would turn on a top, so they running water, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, running water would cover their voice, or you may not, uh, you, you may not believe it, but people still do this today, so even people still do it today, so, you know, so, the personality, like a double personality, may have a double personality. What they say at home is different from what they say in a public, as I told you. You know, so what we what we heard about, well, what we heard about the the, uh, the examples. You know, just I heard, okay, that's happened with uh, with my father. That's happened with my uncle. You know, and. We couldn't speak about that, you know, outside. We couldn't speak about that, uh, on, on, you know, on the street, because everywhere was, as it, everywhere was, uh, uh, traitors who betrayed you, you know. So you didn't know who is working for the government, who is working for the regime. It's, yeah, it's terrible. Just thinking about that, because this is what we see now is the beginning. So what we see now in Canada, what, you know. Uh, it's the beginning, so please trust me. It's the beginning. I lived, I lived 14 years in a military communist regime. So I saw banana orange one year a time in a Christmas time. So we know that the you know about banana, orange, or or fruits from from North uh, South, South America and etc. We know that, but we saw only one time, you know, and we stayed a long, long line, you know, to buy it. <sighs> horrible, you know, horrible. Uh, example, other example, uh, we we had a ticket for the bread. You know, to to buy a bread, it was, it was also not like a stores. You we go to the stores, but it it it, it was different. Like here, it was a bread store, meat store. You know, everything was separately. Not is only you know the one 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 store, and you you going to the store and you can buy everything on on, on that store. So it wasn't. You had you have to. Oh, this is a bread store. Okay, the meat store was maybe a, a, a half mile away. You know the liquor store not really existed. You know the liquor store has not really existed, but the liquor store it was. It was you couldn't buy because this was couldn't buy uh, like much uh, alcoholic liquid. We can see. So sorry, we can uh, uh, speak about beer, uh, brandy, etc. It was a higher price on that. So you know, like my father and my mother heard about. If now I, I I try to figure out. It was two thousand lei. You know, the that that money was lei. And two thousand lei or two twenty five thousand lei was. In that time, if I, I make, a, you know, I make a, a money from from a Canadian dollar to Romania lei, something like six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks. So you can imagine it is to live it with seven hundred bucks. Sometimes people, you know, uh, the people thought their children uh, did a split, like a personality. And not talk about anything outside, as I told you at home. Uh, horrible. Even husbands and wives. It was a spy. Sometimes I know. I so I know, and and also I I I, I remember. I knew families because it was a spies, you know. So, and and uh, betraying, you know, children betraying their parents for for. Uh, for offered banana, offered uh, chocolates, you know, so off offered something we, we couldn't buy from the store. Yeah, 
uh, sometimes cars is it's a car, uh, in in our uh, in our uh, uh, streets where I lived, I remember um, many of times. So actually, actually many of times, cars is it, we didn't know you know that car because we didn't recognize that car all the time that these uh, cars from government the communist regime was black just open the door is someone get uh, get out from that that car went to the children ask questions and they gave it you know gave it food for the for the for the kids you know for children and they answered about that question you know so yeah there, there was a, a, a lack of trust and sincerity, uh, sincerity among people. You know, even my family suffered a lot, and also, or even me, uh, like or even me, you know, under the communist regime. So, be, people betray each other in return to receive, you know, uh, or it was promised something which could not be obtained, you know, in the shops. As I explained you, yeah. So, and for the rest of of her life, you know, uh, who was a, a traitor, he or she had to be a traitor for like the rest of the of his life or her life. And if he did not want to work, you know, any longer for the Securitate, so the, that you know military regime. It called yeah, the Securitate, uh, then was well dredged or executed, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like all uh, totalitarian regimes, the Romanian regime, you know, wanted uh, to create a new modern man. So, man without any real personality, a man controlled by the state and the authorities you know it's a quote of tribute of Joseph Stalin he said one death it's a tragedy a million deaths it's a statistics so this was it is it was uh, the highlight to military tendency to give more importance to a single casualty, if it was an American, then to the million civilians who perished, if they were non-American. So I'd like to to introduce something about how uh, the government showing for the population about uh, the vaccine and how uh, what is what, what kind of behavior. You know, has has also this liberal government for Canadian citizens. So, in Canada, it is 30 million people. You know, 37 something like that. So almost 38 million people of population. So the Canada ranks. We can speak about 38 million people. We can see people, you know, fully vaccinated. About 30 million and 8 million not vaccinated. So when we see the people in Canada, we look at the citizens of Canada, so we, we see not 30 million people who are vaccinated and the others who may be vaccinated. We look, we look at 38 million people, individuals, persons with the basic fundamental rights. So, which have the rights and the liberty, or should have, at least, you know. So in Canada to decide if they want to get the medical treatment or not. We are talk about a set of values, you know, that created was what we call today an Occident. So we called a Western world, you know. Uh, that everybody, referring to, uh, referring to the, there are billions of people around the world trying to get here, guys, in Canada. So this is the reason why, why we, we, 
uh, have an issue about the illegal immigrations from all over the place because this is the few places in you uh, few places you know as Canada in the world that created and creating a prosperity for people and the reason why they are doing that because it's accepting you know every person is knowledging the basic fundamental rights the problem with this government like these liberals they questioning you know the basic fundamental rights of every citizens or every human being living inside in Canada because they are racing you know they are racing the issue so let's talk about the mandatory vaccination let's talk about you know let's have a discussion about what you know about what about forcing people to do something against the will so or to accept the freedom of choice you know so how much of the power you know how much the power you want to give the to this government to an end like to this government and unelected bureaucrats to decide against the will want to be vaccinated on in order to live a free citizens if we can call it about you know so i would like to i would like to make attention of uh, you know of police officers like uh, police officers uh, gentlemen and ladies please just thinking when you take off your clothes please again look in the mirror and think about it are you a human a really man or or a woman what you did to david those innocent what you did to david those innocent you know including me people you know if you were in the reverse position I think I, yeah in the rare position how would you leave your children what would you say to you those people they want nothing more than freedom the rest you know the restoration of their rights the love of each other and uh, nicer and better existence for our children to the next generation which this government has this pride if you have a faith in the in the good god or in someone who believe you you know doesn't matter you know you believe in someone i believe in god because i'm a christian you know but doesn't matter it god is only one we have to understand god is only one and then you have the same soul because you have the same soul as we do everybody has to understand we are a, we are a human men like women but we are human you know so it is very easy to commit you know the violence or brutality in the uniform in the government uniform it's very easy you know but you have to understand something we are not your enemy you know we are not your enemy we respect you we respect you know the police the cops everybody who is who have to protect the humans you have to protect the canadian citizens so we don't want to hurt you guys we don't want to hurt you because again i repeat we are not your enemy something i would like to 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 say about the god and be please please just keep in your mind everybody keep in your mind god loves everyone there is no selection of person in the front of god you know god loves everyone but we have to keep in our mind something the kingdom of heaven can be inherited by the righteous one thing everyone should think about it actually you know when we get to the gate because everybody you know we will get to that gate nobody survive this life so everybody 
you know, one time, you know, one time, including again me, we will get to that gate and we all be responsible for our actions, for our committed. A lot of people doesn't know uh, what is mean the VEF, so VEF, the World Economic Forum. That's why we are here as as everybody see, you know, what's happening in Ottawa, what's happening the rest of the towns in Canada. Also, I want to explain something uh, about I read the book called The Great Reset. This is the new world order being built in the shadows of uh, the coronavirus. This was such as incro uh, incompre incomprehensible and mystical concept. Sorry about my words, it's a little bit hard to explain. Yeah. That uh, people would neither understand uh, nor care about it. But the truth is that is in the fact that this new world order is going to affect everyone. So no one will be able to hide from these consequences. Because the rising price of food, you know, that just we, as we see the fuel and energy or even the inflation are or correlated correlate to what Klaus Schwab, the leader of the World Economic Forum, announced at the beginning of 2020. And he even talked about it in his book, as I as I said in the beginning, it's called the Great Reset. So this man is a new shift, ideology to this whole process, you know. So his name is Klaus Schwab. He's the leader of the World Economic Forum. He's the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, who recently published a book on all what's happening now called the Great Reset, you know. This is the Bible of the ideology of the new post-coronavirus world order. This involves a huge danger for us, you know, but many people still thought and also still think it's something it's elusive or fake news. But important changes happened in uh, 2021 when these le actually the leaders of other countries, I'm referring now for Europe, like European countries and parties, started about this matter and the new world order being built in the shadows of the coronavirus has become a topic, you know, the parliaments of the several countries. So the new world order in the Great Reset was announced by Klaus Schwab, the president of the world Economic Forum at the Organization Celebratory Meeting in June 2020, which was held to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the World Economic Forum. Big reset is in fact about the global monetary, you know, the global monet monetary like la oligarchy and the narrow circle that dominates the whole world, striving to create a fully centralized and controlled the world with the policy of lockdowns, just thinking the policy of lockdowns artificially created economic crisis. Uh, countries have been and still are being totally in debt. In impoverishment has already begun with the rising inflation. You know, the rising food prices will be significant. And the rising construction prices, you know, just see how much you know, how much is the prices of the construction parts and construction things, which was one year ago. It's very high. It's very, very high. So as much to do with it as the phase that fuel prices have also uh, skyrocketed. So we can buy, we can buy a, a liter of, of gas with 158, 160, and it's gonna be more guys, you know. So much the new world order itself, in a, we can call it a nutshell, 
you know, why do we, will, do we feel like that for months since the coronavirus has appeared and everyone is following Klaus Schwab's orders, you know, it can be a question, but it is. In order to understand this, we need to know a very important thing. Someone has behind Klaus Schwab for decades. The World Economic Forum was founded in 1971 by Klaus Schwab, who was only 33, and that time he was completely unknown to everyone. And the first meeting held every, like, yet the first meeting held every year since then in Davos, you know, it's a, it's a town on Switzerland, has immediately attended by 440 global. So attention guys, 440 global economic leaders from 31 countries and these multi-billionaires were soon joined by major media partners such as BBC, CNN and others. You know, people are starting to feel on their own skin. Um, since in 2020 has indeed happened and it's affecting everyone, whether it's, it's vaccination or the coronavirus, doesn't matter. You know, the economic consequences now everyone feels in their wallets, you know. As I told them of the communist regime, what I lived, it's going to be worst. So it's going to be worse. So that's why, you know, people, my request, people try to wake up. Try to wake up, please, thinking and try to wake up. This is not what you want. This is not what you want to see. This is what they wanna see, wanna, wanna do with us, you know. This is what they are reorganizing, you know, they reorganizing the whole world. So now we're speaking in Canada but the whole world will be reorganizing, you know. So, because the coronavirus, the Great Reset, is a new world order. The Great Reset was proclaimed already. So, you know, the World Economic Forum headquarters is in the world, uh, the world economy is governed from, you know, from, uh, Switzerland, close to Geneva. This is a small town called Cologne. And they have headquarters in, in Beijing, New York. And we have to know also uh, the Google, the owner of YouTube, is one of the towns of the world, like a global company is behind the World Economic Forum. So guys, uh, I would say thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you for, thank you so much if you, if you understand, you know, or don't understand, but try, try and again say try, try to wake up. So Canada have to wake up because it's, Canada it's only for patriotic Canadians, you know, not for liars, not for bureaucrats, not for corrupts, you know, not for this liberal party. But Canada is only for patriotic Canadians. So and, and I think the last sentence is I would like to say for those in government and leaderships, you know, seeking control on our lives and even for Justin Trudeau, you know, I would like to say, so you can take our income, our career, or you can take our home or our comfort but you cannot take our dignity. You, ne you cannot take our freedom to choose. And nor we, 
Will you ever steal our resolve to fight for our freedom with all of our will? So guys, keep your head up and we will get back, you know, we will fight to get back Canada because Canada is for Canadians. Freedom, guys, freedom. Thank you so much.